The winds have certainly died down a little bit, though. Thank goodness. It's just temporary, though. They're picking up again oh, into this afternoon. Get our, <laughs> Ross is let's good. get our kites out, yeah. You got to be strong. You don't need the jacket today. Right. Well, maybe you do. Well, you need I the do. jacket. You need I the will jacket. Need the jacket. <laughs> it's going to be cooler. We have rain moving in, heavy rain moving into Ooh, the coast. Here's that? a great shot that Herb Kennedy sent in through email this morning of Johns Peak in Medford of some of those rain clouds we had yesterday. We'll have more of those sticking around not only today, but throughout the week. A lot of rain is to come, up to an inch for West Side Valleys in the next 48 hours. Looking at the sweeping radar, we are dealing with a few showers moving through Jackson County at this time, just north of Medford, moving through Shady Cove, also Glendale, seeing some rain right now. And those showers are hitting the Cascades, turning over to snow. Snow levels are starting off around 4,000 feet this morning. They are climbing near 6,000 feet into the afternoon. We have a warm front moving in, and that is going to be bringing heavy rain to the coastline into this afternoon by about 1 o'clock. 47 is our temperature right now in Brookings, 45 in Medford, and we're in the mid-30s on the east side as well as over northern California. Winds aren't bad right now, but that will be changing into the afternoon. They'll be picking up. They'll be uh, in the teens throughout the afternoon. Average winds will be in the teens. Klamath Falls reading 10 right now and Crescent City 14. Gusts near 30 and 40 miles per hour are expected throughout the day, and that goes for all areas. Is the, the winds picking up. Here's the rain arriving at the coast by about one o'clock. This is our warm front and then it will travel further inland into the afternoon by about 430. The rain pushes into the Cascades. Now the Rogue Valley has been in the rain shadow with this front system moving in all week long. So for Jackson County, it'll be showers throughout the afternoon and we will see some heavy rain from these showers, but more steady rain is moving in for tomorrow with the cold front that's going to move through following this warm front. That's going to be tomorrow morning and this is then going to drop snow levels again into tomorrow evening down to about 5,000 feet and then come Friday morning, they're around 4,000 feet. So rain expected into your Thursday and then some snow following Thursday night into Friday morning. A couple Couple inches of rain will accumulate through the next 48 hours up and down the coastline. Look at Brookings, almost three inches or more expected on the stormcast. For Medford, this is about an inch or so that we're expecting through the next 48 hours. Even in the Klamath Basin and over Northern California, about three quarters of an inch of rain from this warm front and cold front that we'll be seeing the next uh, 48 hours. For today at the coast, rain and increasing rain. Uh, the rain will be moderate to heavy at times. Over Siskiyou County, mostly cloudy skies. The first half of the day, pretty quiet. The second half is when those showers will start developing. Same story for the Klamath Basin. Any showers you see this morning could be falling in the form of snow. Your winds are picking up into the afternoon as well. In the higher elevations, our snow levels rising to 6,000 feet today. Mostly cloudy skies with periods of rain and snow. For the Rogue Valley, 62 in Medford, 61 in Grants Pass. Increasing showers into the afternoon. And your seven-day forecast keeping around a very active weather pattern into Friday. And then we start to get to break come Sunday and Monday. For Siskiyou County, it looks like the weekend's going to be dry for you, partly to mostly cloudy skies. And until then, chances for rain and wind. In the Klamath Basin, dealing with the rain and wind tomorrow, showers for today. For the weekend, will be dry. In the higher elevations, same story with snow levels fluctuating from day to day with the fronts moving through. In the Rogue Valley, we are stuck in the 60s for today. We have showers moving through and then more consistent rain into tomorrow as well. The weekend looks to be dry right now. Very isolated showers, so not too bad, but still cool. Well, it's good to see some rain coming our way. and. Uh... We'll postpone a little sunshine till the weekend, maybe, or something like that. Yeah, we need this rain ahead of uh, fire season. Definitely. Anything we can get.